Welcome to AEA Technologies video slideshow on how time domain reflectometers work. This video segment covers the basics of TDR technology. With radar, an RF signal is transmitted into the air in search of reflections from targets. When the RF pulses reflect back from an object, the radar presents a blip to the operator representing the reflection. Like radar, TDRs transmit pulses on a cable to produce reflections. In both cases, the time it took for the pulses to leave the source, radar or TDR, and reflect back from a target or a cable event will be known. Here's where radars and TDRs differ. Radar signals travel at a relatively constant speed. TDR signals travel at speeds dependent on the cable's velocity factor, also known as VF. Both need the speed of the signals to compute the distance information correctly. The cable's velocity factor is published by the manufacturer. VF is expressed as a fraction of the speed of light in a vacuum, like the examples shown in this slide. To compute the distance to events, the TDR takes the time of reflection, divides by 2 because it's always a round trip, then multiplies by the cable's VF. In our example, a reflection from 20 nanoseconds is divided by 2, multiplied by 0.66, which is a little over 648 million feet per second, or over 197 million meters per second. The result is a distance of 6.48 feet, or a little over 2 meters, to the reflective event. One caution about VF. The manufacturer's published velocity is not absolute. Cables are manufactured to different global standards, and some standards permit as much as 6% deviation from what's published. Quality cables are generally not more than 1% off published VF. However, after a cable has been spooled, unspooled, pulled, cut, spliced, connectorized, etc., its actual velocity may have been altered from the published velocity. Age, moisture intrusion, and other factors can also change a cable's velocity. It's always best to validate the cable's actual velocity before accepting a TDR's distance readings as accurate. Secondly, VF is also known by different names. Velocity of propagation, abbreviated VP or VOP, and nominal velocity propagation, abbreviated NVP. They are all referring to the cable's velocity. The key factor that is the basis on how TDRs work is the cable's characteristic impedance, also known as Z0. As shown in this slide, the impedance is based mainly on the capacitive coupling between either the center conductor and shield, as illustrated with the coax cable on the left, or the two conductors in a twisted pair, as shown on the right. Any deviation from a cable's manufactured impedance, Z0, will cause deviations in the TDR's trace. In the top example, both the coax and twisted pair cable are open. The TDR's trace of the cable remains horizontal with the reflections remaining at Z0, but the trace goes up to infinity when the reflections from the open far end arrive. In the bottom example, the cables are shorted and the trace goes down to zero when those reflections are received. Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more about TDR technology, we recommend viewing the difference between pulse and step TDRs video.